Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in this one I'll be talking about GPU pass-through in Pop OS 20.04. First, I would like to thank YouTuber Hupf for pointing out how much easier and simpler it is to work with this version of Pop OS than the previous versions when it comes to GPU pass-through. And uh, now let's get started with the guide. If you are on AMD, you need to have SVM and IOMU enabled in your BIOS. If you are on Intel, you have to enable VTD and VTX in your BIOS. Also, you need at least two graphics cards and your host can use the integrated GPU if you have one, obviously. Okay, and now let's download the script and I'll leave the link in the video description. So let's go to clone or download, download zip, save it. Let's go to our downloads folder, unzip it, extract it here. And now let's open the command line. Let's become a super user. And first, as always, we'll update our system, apt, update and apt upgrade. Okay, now let's reboot. Okay, now let's run the script. Let's open our terminal. Let's become a super user, sudo dash i, change directory to our download. So home, the name of the user, downloads pass through helper let's see what's in the directory two files let's make the pop os helper executable chmod plus x pop os helper and let's run it it will install the required packages okay that's complete let's reboot again Okay, so now there is an optional step. Let's open our terminal. Let's become a super user. And we can double check and make sure that the desired graphics card is bound to the VFIO driver. So LSPCI-K, and you just have to find the graphics card you want to use. In my case, it's this 950 from NVIDIA. And kernel driver in use is VFIO-PCI. Perfect. Okay, so now let's launch the virtual manager. Let's go here, type in virtual machine manager. And let's create a new virtual machine. Local install media. I already downloaded Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft. So just Google it and should be able to download it too. I'll be using eight gigs of memory. You can use however much you want. Let's do four cores for now. 40 gigs is enough to demonstrate this. Customize. We'll need to do this. And now let's change it to UEFI. Boot options. I'll change it to SATA CD-ROM. And let's remove tablet, basically the graphics cards the virtual graphics cards we want to use, display spice, sound. You can use either the built-in GPU sound card or you can do your USB sound card or if you have a, an external sound card like a PCI Express sound card, I mean, you can use that. You just have to pass it to the virtual machine. QXL, remove that and Let's add our GPU. So PCI host device and find your GPU here, the one that has the VFIO driver. Okay, so any secondary GPU should work. Finish, add the audio portion. So this one. Okay, now mouse and keyboard. You can either USB host device preferably uses another mouse and keyboard you have so you still keep your keyboard for the host 
and preferably you will use another set for the virtual machine for the guest. You can pass them individually through here, or if you go to PCI host device, you can just uh, assign an entire controller to your virtual machine and I'll be doing that. So it needs to be in its own IOMMU group and uh, I will link a video in the description that goes over how to understand IOMMU groups better. So for now, I know this one will work on my motherboard, so I'll use this one. Okay, so that should be all. And uh, let's boot this up. Okay, so now we see black screen and soon we should have a pop-up that uh, asks us to press any key. If you don't see that pop-up or if you end up with a UEFI menu like this, it means you were too late and we'll have to reboot. So let's, pr let's press Alt, Control, Delete and let's start pressing any key right now. And that should hopefully help us boot into Windows. Okay, and it looks like it's booting. And now I'll go through Windows installation. Okay, so now let's shut this down. And we have to change the boot order. So let's go here, boot options, and let's boot from the hard drive now. Okay, so now let's edit first. Let's open our terminal. sudo dash i and versh edit win 10, the name of our virtual machine right here. Okay. Let's go here to Arch Linux Wiki and I will link it in the video description. Let's copy this line and paste it right here between the Hyper-V tags. Okay, and then let's copy this and let's uh, paste it right after the Hyper-V tags. Okay, Control O, Enter, Control X. That should be done and let's uh, boot up our virtual machine again. So here we are in Windows uh, and all we need to do is we can download the NVIDIA driver or we can wait for Windows to download it for us. And I think it's doing it right now. Okay, let's change the resolution. Okay, so there we go. Let's take a look at device manager and we should have our GPU running here, 950 without the error 43, there's hard drives and all that. So uh, yeah, that should be it for uh, GPU pass-through under Pop OS 20.04. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.